<laughs> hey, Clay, how's it going? I'm doing very well, thank you. Uh, congratulations on your baby boy start off. Um, so you've had four fights with the PFL now. Uh, one of those was a really close fight with last year's lightweight champion. What's your mindset going into this year's playoffs? Uh, just keep winning, man. I mean, I don't feel like I lost a fight last year. I know that the judges thought so, but in my opinion, I won that fight. So uh, my mindset is just to keep trucking and keep winning. Awesome. Thank you. Jonathan. Hey, Clay. Hope you're doing well, man. The PFL has had you uh, main eventing a couple of events now. How do you feel that the PFL is using you as a marketing tool because you seem to be getting these wins, putting on exciting fights? How does that make you feel as a fighter? Uh, I mean, it's, it's well deserved. You know, I'm a main event fighter. I feel like um, I've been that way since the beginning of my career. I'm always. 90 percent of the time I'm, I'm the most exciting fight on the card uh it's just my fighting style and when the person so um yeah i do i just feel like I, I deserve to be there awesome i appreciate you man and good luck this this weekend max how you doing clay this is max going from the going live network thanks for taking the time man really appreciate it uh, just had a, a quick note, quick question for you. Your boxing skills, obviously, the storyline of the season, I think, so far. Uh, your two boxing matches in between the last season and this season, do you think you you gained some confidence or some knowledge in between that's really helped um, display what you've done so far? Um, I'm focused on these martial arts. I'm focused on the PFL. And, yeah, I've, I've got, you know, the hands like – uh, a boxer, but I, I feel like I'm a well-rounded fighter, and that's why I'm winning fights. Um, boxing definitely helps. It always helps, but I feel like I win because I'm well-rounded. Absolutely, and just one more follow-up for me. Uh, if you if you deliver the same shots you did to Jeremy on Alex Martinez, you think that he'll be able to survive those? Uh, we're we're hoping to put him away, man. We need we need some points for the tournament and, and for so we can buy our spot in the playoffs. So I'm definitely going to be putting some shots on him. You know, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't stand up to him for sure. Yeah, I think we're all surprised that Jeremy did as well. So thanks so much for the time, man. Good luck this weekend. Benjamin Davis. Hey, Clay, two from me. First of all, earlier today, you had the nunchucks and the size. I was curious uh, how often you train with those more traditional martial arts weapons. Uh, you know, I, I like to play around with my bow staff. I have a bow staff hanging up in my gym, so that's my, my favorite thing. It's, it, I just like to mess around, man. So, uh, I'm a martial artist in, in all aspects of life, so. And now the thing is, many people still consider you a dark horse this year alone, headlining two PFL cards, arguably undefeated in the promotion overall. Do you feel like the underdog or the dark horse, or should you be considered the uh, the favorite in these situations? Uh, I feel like I'm the man to beat in the tournament, you know. Um, I, I took out, you know, former UFC champion. Um, this year, you know, they, they matched me up with one of the toughest guys, one of the top 10 guys in the UFC. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm knocking out the top guys and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm beating the top guys. And so I feel like I'm the man to beat. Daniel Levy. Clay, welcome to Atlanta. How are you liking it here so far? Uh, you know, it's not our first time here. We've actually stayed at this hotel, the same hotel, so we kind of know what our way around. I'm excited to go play after the fight, I guess. You know, Atlanta has a long history with classic fights. I mean, we're talking Rashad Evans versus Chuck Liddell, Dustin Poirier versus Max Holloway, Israel versus Kelvin Gastelum. Is it exciting to fight in a place like this where people truly love and respect MMA? Yeah, I mean... We'll see how the fans react. You know, we'll see. We'll see if it gets hypey Friday night. That's for sure. And lastly, you've been in there with the Anthony Pettises, the Jeremy Stevens, the Max Holloways. Alex Martinez doesn't quite have that name, but he's a young, hungry kid trying to make a name for himself. How does that change things for you? 
Uh, it doesn't change anything for me per se. You know, I'm just coming in there to do my job, and and my job is to beat people up. So uh, I respect Alex. He's an awesome kid. He's tough. He's sweet. You know, he needs a man. Thanks, Clay. I uh, yeah, I got a challenge on my hands for sure. Good luck this weekend, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Dave Manokin. Hey, Clay, this is Dave with Fight Bananas. Um, I thought your last fight so far would probably fight of the year in the PFL, uh, a war with Jeremy Stevens back and forth. How important is it to kind of get Alex out quick or a little bit more of a domination to kind of heal your body to make sure you're 100% through the playoffs? Uh, you know, honestly, I didn't really take too many lumps of bruises in, in that German Stevens fight. You know, I got hit a couple times, but I, I wear them well. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking forward to the fight and, you know, getting this weight cut over with and going in there and doing what I love to do. So. Sounds good, man. Appreciate your time. Good luck. Jonathan. Hey, Clay. Uh, you're currently tied at third uh, with three points in the standings. I'm just curious, is there any strategy as far as trying to get yourself a certain seed and getting yourself a certain matchup, or are you just more confident in yourself that you're going to run over whoever's in front of you regardless? We're just trying to win fights, man. You know, they. I feel like they gave Anthony Pettis the, the easy man. Um, you know, he got his quick six, so, you know, props to him for doing that, but... Uh, it doesn't matter how the how the play up, playoffs line up. Like if I'm in there, I, I'm I'm gonna fight. So. Appreciate you, my man. Good luck. Any more questions for Clay before we let him go?